vast panda populated sweltering jungle that is Chengdu. I've heard tell from the locals that there's a mysterious magical city where everything is spring-like all the time. It's a place out on China's frontier in Yunnan province called Kunming, or the Spring City. Rather than drive all the way, we're taking a cab to the airport and hopping a flight. Normally I'd prefer the train, but I'm sharing this journey, and everybody else prefers the fastness of the flight option. It's not too busy at the airport as far as China goes, but I'm feeling the effects of the weather outside. It's already melted me. Apparently I'm not the only one feeling it. But it's time to go, and the next place promises to be very comfortable. It's not really a long flight for a place that's on the frontiers of what is known as China, but any length of flight leaves me feeling about the same at the end. We're getting off of this bus of the air for a bus of the land, but before that we get to feel the cool air on our skin. It's quite surprising after the weather in Chengdu. city to get a bite to eat before hitting the hay. The next day is going to be a busy one. There's lots of food options out here for the weary traveler. In the end, we opted for something indoors. There's nothing like being greeted with a hot meal. Anyway, it's time to hit the hay. As I said, tomorrow's a big one. First thing in the morning and it's already time for some adventure. I found these little snacks here on the table. I guess you just eat the whole thing. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. And as for the big plans, well, they've got to wait. My shoe broke, so we're off to this international export mall in search of some good quality shoes. I've seen those videos where they have the markets right on the train tracks. This isn't quite that, but you still have to watch yourself. You might get run over by the train while you're doing your shopping. We barely dodged the train and haven't quite made it in yet when the smell of good food cooking stopped everybody in their tracks. It seems a bowl of noodles is just the thing to give the energy needed to do all this shopping. After coming into the place, I can see why. This is enormous. I mean, we're talking this is one of the biggest shopping places I've ever been to. I've been told to go do some exploring while everybody looks for the perfect place to buy some shoes for me and it quickly becomes apparent why this place is so big. This isn't just for people coming in to buy stuff, though you can. It's mostly for people who have shops who want to sell elsewhere. I don't know that the video does it justice. I've tried to include as much as I could, but this place literally has everything you could ever imagine. I mean, if you wanted to run your very own discount store or Walmart or something like that, you could probably supply it just from this one building. I'm back to pick out a pair of shoes. They've apparently found the best spot to get some quality shoes. All I really wanted was a pair of chucks, but apparently everybody else has their own fashion ideas for me. So I'm gonna be going with a pair of leather shoes. Well, after that full day of shopping, it's time to eat again. So we're hitting up the night market in search of something good. We eventually ended up at this chicken soup place that was so delicious. It ended up becoming something of a staple while we were here. And thus ends the first full day in Kunming. We're hopping the metro and going in to have a look at the city proper. Kunming's metro is pretty clean as far as metros go, and it's a straight shot from home base into where all the action is.
exactly the biggest city in China at 6.6 million people, but it sure seems pretty busy right here in the heart of it all. snacks and food. We'll be coming back after dark to get a look at the city with the lights on. It doesn't really matter what time of day you come here. They're going to have food cooking and snacks out and about. Most of them look quite spicy, which seems to be the trend here. I thought I was leaving all that spicy food behind in Chengdu, but it turns out that's sort of a theme across China. The food may be different, but it's all spicy. <laughs> really in the mood for a snack right now. What I'm really in the mood for is some coffee. Something they grow a lot of around here. And I just happen upon a 7-Eleven that should suffice. 7-Elevens in Asia are the same and yet different from what you have back home. Just look at these interesting snacks. Fortunately, the coffee's about the same. Yep, that's the stuff. There's a couple of these famous gates here in Kunming, the most popular being the Jade Rooster and the Golden Horse. Somehow they don't sound as good in English. But I'm not here for the gateways, I'm here to see Dongfeng Square. This is a very popular place for shopping, probably more on the high end than what we were at earlier. It's also a great place to take photos, or to just hang out. chairs here for? Well, to take selfies, of course. Kunming truly is the city of eternal spring. Everywhere you look, there's flowers. Every day, it seems spring-like, not too hot, not too cold. And that's year-round. It's getting lunchtime, so we've followed our nose to this well-established establishment. 1994 can be pretty old in modern China. For lunch today, it's fiery pepper salad and burning spicy noodles. All jokes aside, the noodles are pretty good. Not far from the noodle shop is a tea house. There's a lot of tea houses in China, but apparently this one is special. The likes of Hillary Clinton have had tea in this place. songs, a very famous songwriter once lived right here on the street. This is the very home of the author of the National Anthem for the People's Republic of China. The house has a lot of relics from his life. those two famous gates, the Jade Rooster and the Golden Horse. They both happen to be in Jinma BG Square, which if you didn't guess means Jade Rooster Golden Horse Square. And Jade 
adjacent to the square and the gates are some old style Chinese buildings with shops and such. I couldn't help but go in and have a look since it's right here. It's getting to be evening now, and we're back in the area of Dongfeng Square. The place really takes on a new character after dark. But some of the local stuff here, I've opted to uh, avoid. Another full day complete and in the books. Time to head home, hit the hay, and prepare for yet another exciting day in Kunming. Today is an exciting day. We're going to be visiting the Yunnan ethnic village. It's sort of a point of pride for the people here. They have around 26 different ethnicities featured in this place, each one with its own unique cultural heritage and different architectural styles. It's really something that you can't miss if you come to visit Kunming. thing you 
you should probably keep in mind when visiting. The temples here, a lot of them are active temples. And the monks who take care of them will expect you to show some respect if you visit. Not that they aren't welcoming, just that they may expect you to take your shoes off if you decide to go inside. It's kind of interesting being here in this part of the country. It gives me sort of a Southeast Asian vibe. Anyone who's been to Laos or Thailand or maybe even Vietnam probably knows what I'm talking about. Laos is actually very close to where we are right now. You may even recognize some Tibetan influence here. third and last full day here in Kunming and we're heading to the legendary stone forest. Now you may be imagining something like a petrified forest, but it's not that at all. It's a forest made of stone pillars, a very interesting geological formation that has been drawing people here for a long time. These stone formations have drawn a lot of impressive names over the years, including the likes of Zhou Wenlai. And as with every tourist attraction in China, it's a great place to take photos. <laughs> up and take photos if you prefer. Might as well take some special dress-up photos so that you can really remember the place. 
I didn't dress up, but that doesn't mean that you don't have to dress up. Well, it's threatening to rain, so we're getting out of this place. Also, we've seen everything, and now it's time to eat. More of that local spicy goodness. And it is good, by the way. If you do come here, be sure to try this stuff. And that's Kunming. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We'll see you guys in the next one. Oh. Oh.